So yeah, I'm two hours off a crazy ass incident that just happened. So I get home from the gym. Well, I stopped by Walmart after the gym to get some small groceries, of course. And uh, as I entered the community, well, I'm about to enter. Fucking asshole. As I enter, about to get my key to open the gate so I can enter the community, go home. I see that there's a couple fucking around in the parking lot. And... Rude little fuck. And... The person in the car who was a female was driving crazy to the point where the dude was barely hanging on, bro. He was barely in the car. <laughs> well, like, dude was holding on to the car from the outside and she was hauling ass. And I don't know how he managed to find his way in there and then he got out the car to get some. I assume that when he got uh, by the... Sorry, I'm just... I'm a little shaken up. He... Then I see the dude get out of the car after he found his way in. And then I see him holding something in his hand, so I assume, okay, he went to get something. What does this mean? What, are they fucking around? Horse playing in the craziest way possible? And then I realize that this is not them horsing around. This is, uh, whoever's driving is wants to really hurt this person when she starts doing donuts to try and hit the motherfucker. Oh, it gets worse from there. Much worse. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Um, the guy gets to a safe distance. He's near the balcony of the office. Well, where she can't really get her car in there to hit him. Unless she wanted to hurt herself trying. And she doesn't, but she does something... A lot crazier. She pulls out a fucking gun. I don't know what kind of gun it is. It's dark as fuck outside. It was dark as fuck when the fucking gun went off. All I hear is boom. Oh, and I see the fucking flash. I'm like, fuck that shit. And I fucking storm off. And the guy follows me, bro. Because I'm right at the fucking door gate, bro. I'm about to open that shit, bro. But I can't get to my fucking key in time, which is in my wallet. And uh, I thought the fucking bitch was going to back up, bro, and just start shooting at us. I was going to hide in the fucking bushes, and I don't know how much that would have helped. <sighs> but thankfully, she drove the fuck off. And I managed to get my key, open the gate, me and the guy fucking haul ass into the community near the fitness center. And I try to see if the dude's all right, bro. Cause dude almost passed out, bro. He was heart. It was a combination of heartbroken and visibly terrified. Um, he was in shock that this woman did what she did. Tried to shoot him. It could have been me too. <laughs> so I stay with him for a minute, bro, to see if he's all right. If he needs anything, he needs me to call the cops. Like, nah, nah, man, I ain't trying to get them involved in this shit. And then I, I try to fucking lighten up the situation. I'm just like, that is your girlfriend, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, from now on, you should stay single. He's like, yeah, for real, on God. Then before you know it, sirens go off. And neither of us were interested in answering any questions the police had, so... We cleared it, bro. I went my way. He went his. I went home. I don't know where the guy lives, bro. I kind of lost him after we split. Immediately after we split. I went home. Told everybody I know what the fuck just happened. Before you know it, there's cops all over the neighborhood, bro. And now they just cleared it. They're probably looking for the person who shot the gun. 
I called my supervisor. I'm just like, yo, I'm I'm calling out tomorrow or else this happened. And uh, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to be in the right head seat to go to work tomorrow. And given the nature of what happened in November in the warehouse, there was a shooting there, someone was killed. I think they kind of understood why I had the sentiment that I do. So I'm just going to chill out tomorrow, recollect myself, go back to work the next day. But Like I said, there was a shooting in my warehouse in November and it caused one of my friends to quit. Now, I understand trauma. I have some trauma of my own, bro. But I could never, I, at the time, I could never understand the depth of his trauma. Like, I've had things happen to me, things happen to people I love, and I feel guilt and I felt trauma over it. But I've never had to be in a situation where there was a gun being fired and I was around and I could have been shot. Now I understand that aspect of my friend's trauma. He always compared it to. You just hope it doesn't fucking hit you when it passes by. I felt that this, the tonight. I felt that. <sighs> camera has been getting fucking crazy these days. I'm not sure I'm going to stay around here much longer.